Good evening, everyone. May I please have a motion to call the organizational and regular business meeting to order? So move, Charlie, second, second. Linda. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And may I please have a motion to move into executive session regarding a student discipline matter? So moved, so moved Linda. Second, Charlie. All in favor? Aye. 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 We will be back. To move out of executive session and back into public session, please. So moved, Charlie. Second, second. Linda. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, can I have a motion to amend the agenda to add a disciplinary decision, please? So moved. So moved, Linda, second. Jen, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, that's done. So we're on to the reorganization part. <laughs> It's new board members first, right? Pardon? New board members yes. first? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to the 2023-2024 organizational meeting of the Webster Board of Education. At this time, I'm pleased to administer the oath of office for our newly elected and re-elected members, Janice Richardson and Maria Cortez. Will you please stand and raise your hands? Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Member, Webster Board of Education, according to the best of your ability? I do. Will you please sign your oaths and pass them down? Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, so the first order of business is the election of board officers, and I will now entertain nominations for president of the Board of Education for the 2023-2024 school year. I would like to nominate Janice Richardson for president of the Board of Education. Second. Okay. Are there any other nominations? Okay, with that, we will go into a roll call vote. So I will call on everyone to cast your vote. Maria? Aye. Charlie? Aye. Jennifer? Aye. Janice? Aye. Linda? Aye. Congratulations, Janice. <laughs> and here's that. Let's sign that, please. One more time. <laughs> Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of President, Webster Board of Education, according to the best of your ability? I do. Congratulations. And I will now entertain nominations for the Vice President of the Board of Education for the 2023-2024 school year. I nominate Linda Diagardi. Sorry, my voice is I second. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other nominations? Okay, we'll do another roll call vote. Maria? Aye. Charlie? Aye. Jen? Aye. Janice? Aye. Linda? Aye. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of Office of Vice President, Webster Board of Education, according to the best of your ability? I will. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, and I now turn the meeting over to your president who will administer the oaths to Superintendent Neenan, District Clerk, and District Clerk Pro Tem. Thank, Thank you. you. Mr. Neenan, you're up first. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Superintendent of Schools, Webster Central School District, according to the best of your ability? I will. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Cindy, right? Or are we going Heather first? Heather first. Oh, okay. Thank you. Heather, Hi. do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of District Clerk, Webster Central School District, according to the best of your ability? I will. Yay. Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of District Clerk Pro Tem, Webster Central School District, according to the best of your ability? I will. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Holding it for you. <laughs> now we go group by group. Okay. Yeah, we just drop the appointment. Thank you. Yay. Um, thank you guys thank so much for coming. Oh, that's awesome. There you go. She should take a picture. Do you want to take a pic? Take a picture before they go. Yeah. Yeah. Don't Wait, take a picture. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. He put it away, but I think he's got his phone, yeah. Great. Yeah, of course. Congrats. There's no, I couldn't let them all leave after that. <clears throat> Love it. All right, so now we just have to go through um, each section by section to approve all the different appointments, district appointments, district designations, all that good stuff. So I'll start with section four is all the district appointments, so district clerk, treasurer, claims auditor, et cetera. So can I have a motion? and a second for the section four district appointments. So move, so move Jen, second. second Charlie, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Section five is district designations. So this is like what banks and all of our funds. So can I have a motion to approve section five district designations? Maria, oh, second Linda, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Section six is necessary re resolutions. Can I have a motion to accept the section six necessary resolutions? So moved. So moved, Linda. Second. Second. Charlie, all in favor? Aye. 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 Right. Section seven is fees and charges. Can I have a motion to approve? 
John, so moved. Second, Maria. All in favor? Aye. 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 We've all had a chance to look at these ahead of time, too, right? So we're good. I always like to point that out. It's not like we're flying through trying to approve all this. <laughs> and section eight, can I have a motion to approve section eight, salary actions? I'll make that motion. Motion, Linda. Second, Maria. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The last one is other, which looks like it's just the vote for next year, Tuesday, May 21st. Can I have a motion to approve section nine, the other section? <laughs> it's kind of weird. So moved, so moved Linda. <laughs> Second. <laughs> Maria, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so that's done, right? Yeah. Rework is done. Rework is done. Yeah. All right, so this is where we're going to insert... Um, the decision regarding a student disciplinary matter. So I'll need a motion to uphold the superintendent's decision regarding the disciplinary matter so discussed during executive session. So move, Jen. Second, Charlie. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So now we go to campus, campus news. news. Okay. All right. So I have a, a few things here. First of all, happy summer, everyone. And each July, we begin another year together with our reorganization board meeting and this year it is my pleasure to welcome new board member Maria Cortez congratulations again elected in May by our one Webster community and I'm excited to welcome back Janice Richardson who again was approved tonight as our board president who was also elected by our community residents for another term of service our entire team I know I speak on behalf of our senior leadership but our district as well that we are looking forward to continuing to partner closely with the Board of Education as we plan for the upcoming 23-24 school year it's hard to believe that we're saying that Wow um, and before we move forward I do want to think back for just a moment on the incredible joy-filled memories that were created during last month's graduation ceremonies it was truly an honor to shake the hands of 600 and 25 Webster Schrader and Webster Thomas seniors as they crossed the stage on commencement day. Nothing, not even a rainy forecast or smoke from the Canadian wildfires <laughs> could dampen the mood for our outstanding graduates. Both the Webster Schrader and Webster Thomas graduation ceremonies videos are available on our website at websterschools.org if you would like to experience this, these unforgettable memories again. Just click on the Schools tab, select the high school, and the graduation ceremony link. I want to wish our newest Webster CSD alumni the best as they begin their next chapter in our lives. So congratulations again to the class of 2023. And lastly, I want to remind our community about important news for our district. You will hear this again and again here in the next few months, but we have recently announced a proposed capital improvement project that we will impact all 11 of our Webster schools with zero tax impact for district residents. Again, that bears repeating. It will be proposed that there will be a zero tax impact for our district residents. Uh, the proposed $85 million project is, focus, is a focus on building our future and aligns with the district's ongoing commitment to providing a safe environment and education for our students. The project will need to be voted on by our community and it will be voted on on Wednesday, October 11th, 2023. And the polls will be open from 6 to 9 p.m. at Webster Schrader High School's gymnasium. And you'll be able to learn more about the project <clears throat> and what it will mean for each of our 11 schools by visiting websterschools.org slash capital project, all one word. Um, and we will also be talking about this uh, on, a, on a variety of different uh, occasions here throughout the next few months. Community members, you are welcome to and uh, invited to join a new Parent Square, Parent Square email group to receive updates about this project and other district-related news. Please click on our website news story regarding the Building Our Future project to begin, or to, excuse me, to find out how to join. This is an inaugural year for this, and this is actually something that we're very excited about when it comes to a new way of communicating with our um, community residents. So anytime if you, any of our board members or any of our community members here, you know, I wish we knew more about what was going on with school. This is a great way to do that. If they give us their email, we'll be able to push out all kinds of information to them throughout the school year. So excited about that. And that ends my report for the evening. Awesome. <clears throat> all right, we're moving on to board business now. Yep. <coughs> all right, the first item up is the resolution to approve an addendum to the employment agreement for Superintendent Neenan. 
Can I have a motion to approve the addendum? So moved. So moved, Linda. Second, Second Charlie. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. How is Freeman's treasurer's report going? So I think we will see him. Oh, he's got, he's oh this is one of the recorded this ones? Gonna, yes. yes. I th actually, no, he's live. Oh, he's, he's gonna live. He's going to be live with oh. us tonight. And so we'll be able to visit him. He's recorded once. As he comes to us from some other destination. Okay. I think a sunny destination, hopefully for his sake. Um, but I think we'll turn things over now to Paul. I think whenever you're ready and you have Brian. Is he yeah. on? We can't see him up here. No, yeah, not yet. Yeah, sorry. That's why I didn't It know. just says Wirecast gear. I could sing if we want some music. <laughs> hey, oh, there, oh he there he is. Now we see him. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yes. yes. Excellent. All right, so first up, treasurer's report. Uh, not a lot going on in the month of May. Uh, it's typically a slow month, uh, but we did receive in the month our first quarter of Monroe County sales tax arrive. Um, it's been pretty stable uh, over the last two years. So uh, not a lot there on the revenue side, uh, as well as in the other funds as well, between the federal fund or the school lunch fund as well. Um, and then our May expenditures are fairly typical. Um, you know, saw a few more capital project probably come through because we are finishing out a lot of the contracts um, at progressively started in May, uh, see a few more when we do the June report as well. Um, so that is the treasurer's report for the month of May. Any questions on any of the uh, items specifically? Nobody? All right. Can I have a motion to approve the May 2023 treasurer's report as presented? So moved, Jen. Second. Second. Linda, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Internal auditor appointment. All right. We're a little uh, ahead of the game on this one because it's for a year out. Um, but, you know, you've, how, how could this be on the agenda when we just appointed one at the reorg meeting? Um, but part of the uh, county collective is we do four year, all the schools uh, put out an RFP. Uh, the last time through the process, uh, at the halfway mark, the internal auditors that we had, um, in essence, went out of um, the business. They, uh, they left the internal audit uh, business. And so we had to, for the last two years of the engagement, uh, went and re-interviewed those that um, submitted proposals and selected the Bonadio group. Um, so we were up uh, for this upcoming year for a... Uh, redo for, for the next four years with the county, so that RFP was out there. We only received two uh, RFP proposals this time. I think this is a trend. Um, as you can tell, you know, halfway through the last engagement, uh, a group dropped out uh, of the of the business, and so we only received two. So it was a, um, a it wasn't as extensive amount of time to select the next one. Uh, so we set up the interviews and, you know, can, recommending to continue with the Bonadio group as our internal auditors. They were just, um, you know, their price point was better, but also their whole, their technical skill and uh, firm and as a whole uh, was uh, checked all the boxes compared to the other RFP proposal. <clears throat> questions. Any qu uh, questions? I don't think so. Nope. All right. Motion to approve Bonadio and Company LLP as our internal auditor from July 1st, 2024 through June 30th, 2028. So, so moved. Move. Linda? Second. Jen? All in favor? Aye. <laughs> no, I know, but like, can I even do that? Can I even motion for a second? Not usually, right? Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. It just does a lot. I just didn't want to be a slacker. Yeah, we have so much <laughs> okay. to motion and second. <laughs> All right, is it SRO? SRO. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that Brian also? Okay. Yep. SRO Brian. contract, yep. All right, SRO contract is up next. The town on Thursday <laughs> night approved this contract. Um, 
with uh, no issues. And so they're going to be sending us a copy uh, for Mr. Neen to sign um, based on uh, the Board of Ed approving uh, our half of it this evening as well. Um, standard contract, same as uh, previous years, just uh, with some updated dates and a couple name changes um, for this contract. Questions are we good? All right, motion to approve the SRO contract for 2023-2024. So move, Jen. Second, Charlie. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Intermunicipal fueling agreement. So yes, this is an update to a current intermunicipal agreement that we have. Um, our current agreement is with the village of Webster and the Northeast Joint Fire District. Um, it, surprisingly, years ago, uh, Webster Volunteer Fire Association was not part of that. They reached out to us uh, last month asking if they could have a joint fueling agreement with us as well. So all we're doing is updating the existing uh, intermunicipal agreement and adding the Webster Volunteer Fire Association to this as well. They have a couple vehicles that are separate that they want to utilize um, our purchasing power to their advantage as well. So happy to have them join as part of the group. So just because it's a change, I uh, wanted to have the board approve this. Questions, are we good? All right, motion to approve the intermunicipal fueling agreement. So moved, Maria, second. And a second. Oh, Linda, thank you. All in favor? Aye, aye. I love when we can partner with Community. No, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <clears throat> School physician agreement. Uh, same thing. It's a rollover agreement uh, from previous years with school physician, Dr. Callahan, just laying out the requirements of both parties uh, for this year um, and all the legal notices, insurance coverages, standard contract that we utilize. Mm -hmm. Questions? Motion to approve the school physician agreement for 2023-2024. So, so moved, Charlie. Second, Maria. All in favor? Aye. Aye. School lunch budget. Yes. So I'm going to try to share. I just want to do an overview of the school lunch fund for everybody. Uh, quickly heading into this year before we approve a couple items. Bear with me. This worked earlier today. Well, it worked because you didn't disable my screen, Paul, this <laughs> afternoon like it is now. It's coming. I can't share anymore. Oh, can I now? All right. I can share now. Okay. There it is. Can everybody see that? Yes. Yes. All right, so just want to run through a quick financial update of uh, where we're at and why we're going to do a couple things with school lunch pricing uh, to give you the background information and um, before we adopt a budget as well. Um, so just a big thank you to our food service staff. Mm -hmm. um, we have been at 100% staffing all year. Um, they have done some tremendous things. So I just wanted to give them a quick thank you um, and, you know, financial update, where we're at, and just kind of, I use this phrase, what a difference a year makes um, last year, um, but I'm going to use it again because you could see the um, financial differences. And I want to just focus on 21-22, you could see, um, you know, in 2020-21, 21-22, we um, got out of the red for the school lunch program and now uh, had a healthy fund balance. Um, you know, there's no lie that was uh, had to do a lot with the free meals and the participation levels, which I'll share with you. And so we're back down to, I would say, what I think would be a normal estimated uh, closing out the fiscal year with, with a small uh, $196,217 um, surplus. Uh, so it's quite different than what was the previous year, but we'll see it's still estimated and still unaudited. So I just want to show that financial difference year over year for you guys based on one year with uh, everything being free uh, versus 
uh, returning back to a normal kind of operating year. Um, and then just to give you some data, um, comparing 11-12, I like to use that as the benchmark of what our participation was, because that was really the year before all the USDA regulations happened. And then 2021 showing uh, that kind of hybrid year, 21-22 showing the participation um, with all the free meals programs, seeing that tick back up, and then showing where participation is um, for this year. Um, so you see that coming back down, um, trying to get that back to levels from previous years. Um, and I use the month of October because October is one of our most stable attendance months. It's, um, you know, after the start of the year, uh, any fluctuations have changed. It's, there's not a lot of holidays. So those are good comparison months. So I just wanted to show you where we are for participation wise, um, you know, for meals. And we're going to look to kind of uh, try to bounce those back up, get more kids participating. I think we could do a better job of engaging um, uh, students and Mark and the staff is, is going to try that uh, going into next year. Um, some program changes, just to point out and uh, show you what our free and reduced rate history is. We're close right now to 26% free and reduced, uh, concluding this year. Going back to 910, we were at about 12%. So uh, we've more than doubled our free and reduced rate as reference. Um, and so I think this is one of the areas we're gonna try to focus in on is engaging students who are participating in the free and reduced that aren't actually utilizing it. Um, they qualify, they may automatically qualify. Um, part of New York State has gotten better uh, with their reporting to us and some of their systems are starting to talk. And a lot of this has to do with our data team doing a very nice job integrating Infinite Campus with those systems. So we are uh, collecting more and more kids uh, that qualify. Um, we're just not seeing them participate on a regular basis. So we're gonna try a couple um, ways to engage them a little bit more. So next year, one of the things that's gonna affect our pricing um, that I've uploaded to you is um, we had a state audit. And so we're required to spend down some of that fund balance that I showed you on previous slides. And it could be used on equipment, promotional materials, meal pricing, any kind of employee programs. So on the pricing side, part of uh, what we're going to do is not raise prices for the next two years um, to utilize that. So we're gonna keep them where they're at. Um, and I showed you uh, on board docs, but I could uh, pull that up quickly for you as well of what that is going to look like. Um, just for everybody's reference, um, our elementary lunch is 290, middle and high school is three, um, and breakfast is 175 elementary, middle and high school uh, breakfast is $2. We're going to keep those uh, the same uh, for the next two years as part of reducing that uh, fund balance that we were cited for as part of the audit. Um, and that's an appropriate use. And they approved that as one of our um, platforms. So um, based on what is available right now, just uh, for informational as well, uh, we think this will put us below the county average for uh, pricing as well. Um, not everybody has their prices set, but based on some early indications, uh, will be our, our rates will be uh, below the county average for uh, lunch and breakfast at all of our levels. <clears throat> I know I'm kind of, I feel like I'm moving a little quickly. Um, is there any questions so far? Okay. Uh, and then, oh, uh, menu focus. We're gonna really try to focus on more catering. Uh, in improving concessions and taking a look um, at our snack items uh, that are available for students, uh, maybe testing some more um, different variety of items that still qualify under the USDA Smart Snack Program, but seeing uh, if we could do something there as well uh, to drive some interest. 
Uh, we do have a full-blown child nutrition audit coming uh, next year as well. So they will uh, come visit our buildings and audit us. Um, and so we're also going to expand marketing of some new menu items as well. And then last but not least is our budget adoption. Um, this budget, um, you know, just gave you the year's comparisons on the revenue and budget uh, side to take a look at. Um, it's very fluid. Um, we can make changes to this throughout the year uh, just as a, you know, overall, because it's not, it's not voted on. Um, it is, um, you know, very flexible because things can change. The USDA could say, okay, we're going to increase the meal rate so we're going to have all this excess revenue so we could adjust our revenue budget accordingly and uh, vice versa. So there's a little flexibility with this budget, but this is the budget that I've highlighted uh, that we're looking for approval that we're going to input into our financial system. Um, it might not look like this at the end uh, because of some of those changes, but this is the one um, that we will input into uh, WinCap so we can begin using and ordering. And that's just a quick little update on a couple of the major things as we head into year to approve the budget and uh, approve that pricing structure um, to keep those prices the same for this year and next year. Questions? Questions on uh, that? I don't think so. Thanks, Brad. That was nice, Brad. That was good, thank you. All right, motion to approve the school lunch budget for 2023-2024. So move, Jen. Second. I'll second. Linda, <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. So with the, just one question, with that budget we adopted, then we also are adopting the uh, pricing because that wasn't in the reorg, correct? Or no? I, I only caught part of that, I'm sorry. Um, the what we just approved the budget does is that also we're approving the school lunch price because the price was not set in the reorg document correct okay okay thank you so can we update that document after the fact i think by uh, approving the budget i think that's what yeah. okay. so now it's official perfect okay. right and i, I also put that memo together okay. explaining the pricing structure okay. uh, for approval okay. as well separately yeah. yep. gotcha thank you okay. very much He's done then, right? Yeah, Say goodbye he's to him. Oh uh, no. Oh yeah, you have. Yeah, because yeah, I got. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so did we say goodbye? Well, yeah, Brian, you're gonna stick. You sticking around, or are you? <laughs> you know, I miss everybody, so I, I I have no problem sticking around if you need me. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I've I, I might have spent too much time with the family, so I, this is good for me. <laughs> well, this family is so happy to see you, and we're glad that you're right there with us. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Brad. Thank nice you. Job. All right, so we're going to move on to the NISBA, NISBA conference. Um, we need a delegate for the annual meeting. And then Linda and I had talked because we have such a young board to begin with. Many of us have never gone. And it is only in Buffalo, so we thought about many of us attending but one day. So we aren't talking about overnights. We could all go together, um, and it might be good to just – pick a bunch of different opportunities, but we kind of all go together, as many of us that can, whether it's Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, we can figure that out. But maybe this way more of us can go, and then we don't really need the overnight because we can, we can carpool. Right, exactly. Does that sound like a, a good, good plan? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm in year four, and I've never gone. a little more engaging if I wasn't alone. Yeah. Well, that's true, too. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's right. yeah. There's a lot of good information. We've had some great conversations when we go to the sessions and then we have the time to sit and chat, talk about each of the sessions. Okay. It's have an hour it's a great opportunity. Isn't that We can debrief on the <laughs> way home. Right. But does anyone have an interest in doing the annual meeting on the 16th? Um, it's, Shanna was going to do it last year, but then we didn't end up doing it. One minute. Correct. I don't want to nominate her because she's not here, but. Say I'm okay. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll go with Jen for the a virtual annual meeting for now, and then as many of us that can attend one day of the conference as possible. 
the registration opens August, August 8th. 8th. Yeah. So we have, so we have time. time. So we can send out an email and then let you know for sure. Because, okay. yeah, then, yeah, and then we'll figure out from there. Okay. okay. All right, so we just need a motion to approve the board members attending the annual conference in Buffalo and to approve the delegate who will attend the annual meeting virtually. And again, we'll reconvene by the 8th to sign up for um, who's going and what we want to attend. So move, Jen, second, Linda, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Board goals, Are the, this is the, yep. so we had talked about these in June. Yep. Um, I think we're all set because there really weren't any other changes. We had all talked about the wording, what, so on and so forth. Mr. Neenan's gonna move forward with his admin teams yeah, and then building, so unless there's any other questions. Should be good, right? Okay. So motion to approve the 2023-2024 goals. So moved. So moved, Linda. Second, Charlie. All in favor? Aye. 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 Throwing my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then board liaison assignments and committee participations. Everyone had a chance to go over those. We talked about them a little bit ahead of time. Um, we mixed up PTSA a little bit this year and some of the committees, but yeah, everyone's... I may not be able to do legislative this year due to a kind of schedule change. Okay. So I may need something that offers more virtual options. Legislative is not virtual yeah, at all? Legislative doesn't do virtual. Shoot, okay, information I can't help. Information exchange is virtual, isn't it? Yeah. So Usually. Yeah, so information exchange. So you're down for information exchange the second Wednesday? Okay, oh. sorry, I Of this month? Oh. Yeah, of yeah. the month, if that's yeah. okay? I mixed up my 23. Oh, you're yep. good? No, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I should. I was, I no, 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 so that's, that's fine. That's, that's totally okay. Fine. Okay, okay, so you're good. No, nope, my fault. That's awesome. that's I got to get rid of last that's year. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, good. All right, so motion to approve the 2023-2024 board liaison assignments and committee participation. So move, so Jen. Second. Second. Linda, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Oh, board member highlights. I'm not sure what we have. I know it's the summer, but if anybody, yeah, we do have a retreat on the 20th, 20th, right? Yep. Yes. July 20th. 9 to 1. From 9 to 1. Yep. Other than that, I can't think of anything. No. I don't know if anybody has anything else they want to highlight. No. I mean, the graduations were. Graduations, I know. Yeah. Done. Yeah. I, I love the um, beach ball. Oh, the beach ball. <laughs> the Thomas. You take away one, they all pop up. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I'm just Slowly up, yeah. reappear. And it was just so nice watching them all be so excited. They had fun. Yeah. 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 It was a nice night. It was a beautiful night. All right, then if not, we'll move on to consent agenda. Again, everybody's had their packets, so we read it all ahead of time. I always like to remind the public that it's not just like we fly through. We've actually had a chance to read all this stuff the last several days. So unless anybody has any questions about anything in the consent agenda. All right, then motion to approve all consent agenda items as recommended by the superintendent. So move, Jen, second. Linda, second. Linda, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. I think it's just public, right? We had one speaker signed up, correct? But did you? Danielle? That wasn't Danielle. I don't think that was Danielle. No, that wasn't. But not here, so we don't have any public speaking tonight. So with that, can I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. So moved, Linda, second. Jen, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank Aye. you very much. Bye, Bri. Bye. 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 See you later, Bri. <laughs>